friends, I'm here with Jeremy and he is our trim guy. He's put in doors today and what I love about Jeremy is Jeremy went to school with my girls. And so I've known Jeremy a long, long time. And I started seeing his work on Facebook. I didn't know that he did this. You don't just do trim and doors, you do. We'll do anything people are willing to pay us to do, but most of the time we're doing interior trim, staircases, finished carpentry. Yes, and it's beautiful. And where do people go to find you? Because I have binge looked at all of his stuff because I'm like, okay, I want him to do that and I want him to do that. So what is your Facebook page? It's JBD Construction LLC dash Jeremy Dixon. Okay. Because, yeah. So we'll tag you in all that. Yeah. So LBD Construction LLC Jeremy Dixon. And then, right? Is that, was that right? JBD. You said LBD. <laughs> <laughs> yes. JBD, JBD. Construction uh, I'm not sure okay. if LLC is on there or not, but it says Dash Jeremy Dixon because there is another JBD construction okay. somewhere in the world. And okay. Anyway, so, but that's us. It'll have my name attached to the business yes. title. So. And, um, and beautiful pictures of trim, like not just doors and baseboards, just all kinds of stuff. We try to take pictures of, of everything that we do and upload it. Not so much for advertising as it is to just be able to look up a picture of something that we've done recently and show a homeowner that's looking for something that they found online. So yeah, it's more of a catalog of our work than it is an advertisement, but yeah, you're welcome to go check yeah. it out and look. Go see it. So what I thought I'd do is Jeremy has been hanging doors today and I'm just going to have him kind of explain how he hung one of these doors. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll show you that. All right, so we have our split jam door units from Brown Lumber and the split jam door unit, the way that they're made, they actually go together and they pull apart. So they come with the casing and the headers already on them. They're doing the one by four, one by six uh, farmhouse trim. So this trim's already on the doors. You pull the split jam apart, you set the door from the bedroom side and uh, we peg the doors off into the, the wall studs to keep them sturdy. And then we actually go through these hinges and we replace the hinge screws with three inch, hin uh, three inch screws. And that keeps that door from sagging over time. And then we, before we put the back, this back here, it just slides on. Before we put the back on, we shim it with uh, wooden blocks and wooden shims to keep it from ever moving. So hopefully, Unless there's a tornado, these doors shouldn't ever uh, close any differently than they are right now. And you got to make sure the door closes evenly all the way down on the door stop. And on these older houses, that's something that you've really got to pay attention to. But there's not a lot of doors in this house, but it took all day to get them set and, and, and hung correctly. Once they're caulked and, and painted, they'll they look really good. Then you've got your cased openings for future barn doors that aren't up yet, but they're pretty similar to the door frames. Yeah, just I love without them. The, without the door stop and without the, the hinges and stuff. So we'll have barn door tracks going on these headers. And then the barn doors will go over these cased openings. And that'll be after paint. We'll get that put up. And then tomorrow we start the one by eight, we're getting seven and a quarter tall, one by eight baseboards. And then up top, if you want to show them those gaps up there that you can see now, those are going to disappear because instead of doing traditional cove crown molding, we're doing the farmhouse crown molding. It's a one by six on the wall and then one by six on the ceiling that kind of make a, a L shape together and it will cover every bit of that that gap that you see there and, and uh, it'll match. Yeah. It'll match the baseboards and the square trim and the rest of the house. So hopefully this time tomorrow we'll have all that in and you can actually see what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna look a lot different. I love it. I'm so excited. And once we're out of here, it's those painters come in here and paint and caulk and it's all downhill from there. It mm -hmm. starts to really come together. 
I'm excited. Thank you so much, yep. Jeremy. It's nice to meet y'all and be uh, feel free to check out our Facebook page and I'm sure Miss Annie will have some pictures of after paint and after everything's in. So Yeah, I'm gonna share We're looking that. forward to it. Thank you. Probably not as much as she is, but <laughs> we enjoy being here and thank y'all. All right, thanks Jeremy.